This is the new Porsche Taken. I will look for you. I will find you. No, 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 not that Taken. Calm down, Liam. It's actually T-A-Y-C-A-N, which is pronounced Taycan. It's Porsche's all new, all electric, 761 horsepower Tesla P100D beta. And here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about it. Porsche has played it safe with the Taycan styling. In fact, you could easily mistake it for a Panamera from some angles in certain photos. However, in the metal, it appears lower and sleeker. Obvious differences include those LED headlights that seem to have been carved into the car's nose, the flush-fitting door handles, and, most obvious of all, the lack of exhaust pipes. The net result is a car with an aerodynamic CD value of 0.22. That means it cuts through the air more efficiently than a Porsche 911 sports car. The question is, of course, would you choose the Porsche Taycan over the Tesla Model S P100D? Click on the top right-hand corner of the screen to cast your vote. The Porsche Taycan will initially be offered as two models, the Turbo and the Turbo S, neither of which actually have turbos because it's electric. So it's just a turbo badge there. I mean, come on, Porsche. You can do better than that, surely. Later on, though, we can expect a cheaper two-wheel drive model and a Taycan Cross Turismo. That's the sporty estate model, and it's due by the end of 2020. All of which could mean the party is well and truly over for Tesla, though I doubt it, really. Let's put it this way, the Taycan is not cheap. The entry-level 680 horsepower turbo costs at least £116,000, and that's before you've even glanced at the options list. The 761 horsepower Turbo S version of the Taycan starts from nearly £139,000. Get your name down for a Taycan and you can expect it to be delivered in January. Though, will you even bother if you can have a top-of-the-range Tesla Model S for less than £90,000? Seems that some people have. Porsche has apparently taken almost 30,000 orders on the Taycan even before it was even unveiled. Anyway, to see how much you can save on a more normal car, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to go to CarWow to see the best offers from our trusted dealers. When Porsche built an electric car, one thing is for sure, it's going to be quick. The Taycan Turbo can hurtle from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, while the big daddy, the 761 horsepower Taycan Turbo S, does the same sprint in just 2.8 seconds, though that's almost half a second slower than the Tesla P100D can do it in. That said, the Porsche can deploy full power over and over again, and there's no waiting for ludicrous mode to be engaged or the battery to warm up or having to cool the battery down between sprints. Yep, it's always available whenever you need it. Also, the Porsche can hit 161 miles an hour flat out, while the Tesla Model S P100D is limited to 155 miles an hour. The Porsche Taycan's interior might share some design features with other Porsches, but you'll also spot big changes like the stacked central infotainment screens and the passenger side display. This being a green electric car, much of the materials are also recycled. Space is similar to what you get in a Panamera. You should be able to fit two passengers in the back of the Taycan, and your rear passengers don't get footwells. Oh no, they get what's known as foot garages which, disappointingly, are just recesses in the underfloor battery. Hmm, it's just marketing nonsense then. Boot capacity, meanwhile, totals 440 litres split between the front, the boot in the front, and the actual boot at the rear. The Taycan also has Porsche's first ever vegan interior, but I don't think that means it's made from falafel, so I wouldn't try eating it. The Taycan Turbo has a claimed range of 279 miles, while the more powerful Turbo S can go 257 miles, though a Tesla Model S long range can do 370 miles between charges. Oh. However, the Taycan is the first production car with an 800 volt electrical system. That's double the capacity of most electric cars. This means you can get 62 miles of range in just over 5 minutes of charge time, although you do need to find a 270 kilowatt charging station to do that, and there aren't any of those in the UK. Still, with a 50 kilowatt fast charger, you can charge the car's battery from 5% to 80% in 90 minutes, which isn't too bad. The Taycan has two electric motors, one on the front axle and one on the rear axle, making the car four-wheel drive. With the help of Porsche's Clever Torque Vectoring Plus system, this can constantly vary the power that goes to each individual wheel, giving the Taycan more stability and grip. 
Want to know why the Taycan can leave a Tesla Model S for dead on the Autobahn? Well, it's because it has a gearbox. Now, you see, that's not something most electric cars bother with because they're talking motors when they don't really need one. But I guess Porsche figured out what the hell and fitted one anyway. As a result, the top gear in the Taycan's two-speed transmission gives it a higher top speed than most other electric cars. It also means it uses less electricity when it's cruising. The Taycan's chassis is also pretty clever. It's controlled by a central computer network that constantly analyzes and synchronizes all the car's chassis systems in real time. Now then, are you ready for some acronyms? Because here goes. These systems include PASM, that's Porsche Active Suspension Management, which controls the shock absorbers. PDCC Sport, that's Porsche's Dynamic Chassis Control Sport, which helps stop the car leaning in corners. And then there's PTV Plus, which is the clever torque vectoring tech that makes the four-wheel drive system work better. Oof. And relax. As you'd expect from a Porsche, the Taycan's brakes are more than a match for its straight-line performance. Choose the Turbo S model and you get huge 10-piston front calipers that grip standard-fit carbon ceramic discs. The regular Taycan Turbo makes do with steel brakes, but even they get a ceramic coating to help them stand up to vigorous use. Not that you'll need to use them that often, because Porsche reckons for 90% of the time in everyday driving, stopping will be handled by the brake recuperation system fitted to the electric motors, which help top up the battery. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos and if you click on the deals box to the right you can see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow or click on the video windows below to watch another of my videos.